Echo found its genesis in the choreography showcase three years ago. At the time, I titled it Reflection, but it was based on the myth of Echo and Narcissus. The storyline is now focusing more on Echo than it is Narcissus. Echo is basically this form that can only imitate what she's heard. Narcissus in the story is gazing into a pool at his own reflection, so I built a lot of the movement out of those type of gestures. I wanted to see, can I take the Frankie and Johnny table from Michael Smewen's ballet, where it's this tabletop that rotates and turn it into a dance that has a life of its own. It's really refreshing, actually, to dive into this with a whole new group of dancers so it can take on a whole new form that I think is going to be, like, twice as good. The pop music itself was a nice challenge because I didn't want to make it like a jukebox ballet. I really wanted to let the lyrics of the pop music just be another instrument involved. There were different songs that kind of made me want to dance around for different reasons, and I liked how all three really made me happy, but in very different ways. So I kind of liked that they each were their own little story and emotional arc within themselves. There are many different kinds of joy, and they all can work in tandem together, and one is not better than the other, but it's just a different way of experiencing it. That's been the most exciting thing, is getting another chance to really dive into the piece and to have the time to really look at it with a fresh perspective and really thinking about the different ways we're bringing joy to life on stage. Sepinetta is the title of the music, and I think I didn't want to title it something that didn't you know, have a purpose in the piece. I wanted it to feel like an abstract painting that you just look at and enjoy and interpret in your own way. My grandmother was um, a really talented watercolour painter and I used to love looking at how the waters would just run from one thing to another and blend so beautifully. It's fun to draw on the playful qualities that we explored a couple years ago, but enhancing them with more mature and developed qualities. I really enjoy the sweeping and the heaviness of the adagio section. It feels like a weeping willow or something that sways very slowly into the allegro section. It just feels like delicate little dandelions or something, like playing in a field. The great part about working with Smewin is that I know some of these people so well and I feel so comfortable here and I feel like it's home. I love being here. <laughs>